rocket launch is a, a basically a controlled chemical explosion is what it is and, uh, and there's a huge amount of energy in, in a system like that and, uh, and there are complex dynamics with it there's intense vibration and you can't control that kind of a system perfectly I mean you certainly try to control it that's the, that's what rocketry is all about but fundamentally there are forces there that are not that are difficult to control and one of those forces is that the rocket will as it launches it'll tend to want to twist one way or the other you want to keep it from rolling and for a couple of reasons I mean one is this is eventually a rocket that'll be uh, that will fly humans into low earth orbit and so humans don't like to spin around when they're being launched into orbit for one thing the other thing is that when you're when you're launching a rocket you're trying to communicate with it from the ground and you're trying to trying to look at it with cameras and do other things like that and so it's in your interest to keep it stable there's a communication link out here between the rocket and the ground and you don't want that link rolling uh, because you'll it'll be dropping out whenever it passes around the rocket right it'll be on off on off on off and so so this roll control are basically another rocket system that are on the that are perpendicular to the um, to the axis of thrust and um, We've got, you know, one engine that will thrust this direction and another engine that will thrust the opposite direction and you thrust this thing and sort of nudge it along as it launches to keep it from, from spinning. There are two roll control systems and they're, they're made in opposition to one another so that you can roll it in either direction because you can't predict which way it's going to roll. The Ares 1X roll control system that we developed was the, f the first major system that was delivered on Ares 1X. Uh, that was done by a Huntsville manufacturer. I would say I think it's fair to say we came in on cost and on schedule and we came in ahead of the critical path and um, and we are generally we've generally been described by the NASA management the NASA leadership as a um, kind of a, um, a fleet leader if you will kind of as the standard bearer for the Ares 1X program in terms of how efficiently we executed and how um, how well we met the requirements. My vision for Teledyne Brown is, um, has been consistently in the two, two plus years that I've been here is, has been that, that we are going to drive the business more toward what we call engineered systems. And this is to say that we want to do more work that's end to end in nature. Work that starts with a concept and goes through requirements development and into concept definition and into design cycles, design and analysis cycles and ultimately into manufacturing which is one of our competitive uh, distinctions. Uh, manufacturing and even delivery and operation of systems if you take it to the full limit or disposal. Roll control is a little bit of a modification of that idea because in this case we took existing hardware from a peacekeeper system and we modified it for use on a, on a different launcher but it's the, it, but it's the same um, it's the same model and it requires the same vertical scale to do this because because when you take, a, you take this system that was designed for Peacekeeper and it's not as easy as taking the system here and unbolting it from one launch, launcher and then bolting it onto another. It's a, it's a very complex endeavor. Teledyne Brown had the bright idea on Ares 1X, which was a, Ares 1X is a test launch, the first test launch of the Ares system. It was, a, it was an attempt to put together something pretty quickly to do an early launch so that you could learn a lot about the dynamics of the vehicle, you could learn a lot about how to integrate, and you could get the infrastructure in place at the Cape to launch such a system and do that early on so that you could provide feedback to the, to the, um, to the less mature flight development program. Had you, had you developed that system from scratch, it would have taken five years, it would have taken six years based on, 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 the, on the history of, of those kinds of systems. We did it in less than half the time and we did it in a way that supported this early launch and so we're getting credit for innovation, we're getting credit for our engineering talent and uh, we're proud of it as a company.